Is it easier to sit on the couch and not exercise? Is it easier to grab McDonald's and eat it? It's tasty as heck. Is it easier to drink a soda? Oh my God, I don't know about you, but Coke tastes amazing. Welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts right here. Today, I wanna share something that I think is so profound. I wish someone would have shaken me and given it to me when I was younger, and that's the hard way in life is actually the easy way. And the easy way in life is actually the hard way. Now, I don't know what age you're watching this, Brianna Brody, future children, any child across the world, any adult, you're like, what the heck does that mean? The harder way to life is easier? Well, let me just ask you in real simple terms. Is it easier to sit on the couch and not exercise? Is it easier to grab McDonald's and eat it? It's tasty as heck. Is it easier to drink a soda? Oh my God, I don't know about you, but Coke tastes amazing. Is it easier to ignore a diet plan? Yes, that's way easier. It's absolutely easier, but is it harder in the long run? Is it harder if you get diabetes at 55? Is it harder when you can't play with your grandchildren? Is it harder if you have to leave your family early? Of course it is. So I just want to set that foundation of the easy way is actually the harder way and the harder way is actually easier. Is it easier to just settle in a relationship that's not right for you? Is it easier to just uh, ignore the problem? Is it easier to maybe uh, be unfaithful in a relationship or find affection, even if it's not physical, but texting on your phone? Is it easier to fantasize through reading or being online rather than working on your relationship. Of course it's easier. It's easier to ignore problems, especially as guys. Brody, if you're watching this or any guy watches, you know it's easier sometimes when there's a conflict or something like, "Eh, I'll just ignore it. I'll just go to bed early. I'll just go hang out with the guys. I'll just go have a drink. I'll find something to numb me. Yes, that's easier, but is it harder having a relationship where you're not connected, where you don't have love, where you don't have passion, where you don't have intimacy, where you're being sneaky on your phone? That's hard. It's terrible and it goes against your values. The hard way is to face it head on and say, hey, I love you. Let's fix this. Let's go to counseling. Let's read books. Let's go to a weekend event. Let's decide if we should even be in this relationship. Those are the hard things, but love on the other side of that, connected, intimate love where you have one uh, uh, one person for the rest of your life and they get all of you and you get all of them. Oh my God, it's the greatest thing in the world. So easy is ignore a bad relationship and hope it gets fixed on its own. And that's the hard way to go through an entire life not feeling loved or not feeling connected or not having that, that bond where someone's got your back. The harder way is to step up, is to read books, to get the, 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 the guidance from people who've already done it, to, to expose your heart, to be uh, transparent, to be authentic, to admit when you make mistakes. That's harder. But God, being in love and having your partner and your soulmate alongside you, that's way easier. In business, yes, I'm giving you an example because I I don't know what phase of your life you're watching this right now, but in business, is it easier to go, ah, this job pays the bills? You know, that's easier. It's easier to say, hey, you know, everybody told me this isn't the right time. I'll I'll just, I'll keep doing this. I'll stick here. I I know my boss frustrates me. I'm now I'm not really doing anything that lights me up, but it's okay. That's easier, of course. You don't have to go look for a job. You have to risk starting your own thing, but that leads to a life of being hard. It's hard to get up every day when you're not motivated. It's hard to smile when other people are getting ahead and you feel stuck. It's hard to feel like a man, feel like a woman, feel independent, feel strong, feel confident when you hate what you're doing every day. That's harder because you're living easy now. You're making for a long-term difficult life where yes, it is harder in the moment to say, I'm gonna start my own business. I'm gonna go uh, get the right course. I'm gonna go to the right training. I'm gonna go to a weekend immersion. I'm gonna mentor under somebody else. I'm gonna risk not having enough money. I gotta eat ramen noodles for us. I gotta work 20 hour days. That is way harder right now. But it leads to an easier life when you can make your own decisions. My kids watching, I was able to coach Little League, coach softball, come to your practices, not just your games. When it's my day for you to be with me, I pick up my kids at three. If, when you guys are watching this, I pick you up at three o'clock. I'm standing outside waving. That's easier. I get to make the choices to be with you. This past summer, I stayed home and worked all summer while you guys were here. 
because I wanted to be near you before you're 18 or 20 or 25 and run off and conquer the world. That's easier. Being an engaged dad is easier. Taking off when I want to take off is easier. Making decisions when I want to make decisions is easier. But was it harder? Heck yeah. I almost lost all my money. I stressed. I had sleepless nights. I worked many 20 hour days. Everybody told me I was a dreamer. I was crazy. That was harder in the moment. But I get to live an easier life. Three strong examples of why living the hard way is easy and living the easy way is hard. So now I'll put this back on you. Take the harder road if it's going to lead to an easier life. Don't always take the easy way. Don't look for the easy button. There's no such thing as overnight magical money machines. There's no such thing as finding your soulmate and you don't do anything and there's perfect love forever. There's no such thing as eating too many carbs and not exercising. It might last for a while, but it won't forever. There's no such thing as the easy button. And when you realize that, then it's time to reverse it completely and start getting excited by the, the hard work you got to put in, the struggle you got to put in. Enjoy the struggle. Embrace the struggle because on the other side of your struggle, the other side of the hard and smart work is your next level of an easier life. So when people say, ah, you're working too hard. Ah, you study too much. Ah, you go to those weekend events. Ah, you're into personal growth. Just let the inside smile and go, I'm taking the harder route now so I can leave the easier life then. All right, that's my message. Appreciate you guys so much. Listen, you're getting a glimpse into my life with my family. These are, this is gonna be a, a library for my children. I was gonna do it just for them. My team said, no, you gotta share it with the world. So if you love these messages, keep watching. And if you'd love to see a special in-depth training, two-hour training with my dear friend Tony Robbins and I on something that could blow your mind, how you could share what you know, share your impact, Share your strategy, share your uh, uh, knowledge, share your skills, make an impact on other people and actually get paid to do it. It's unlike anything you could ever imagine. In fact, just go to deanstraining.com. That's deanstraining.com. Register for the free two-hour training. It will blow your mind. And join me here week after week as I share the lessons to show you how to reach that next level of life. Because remember, all success starts right here. What's up, what's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.